I don't even remember this stuff. It's this blue liquid. Now, what's in there, actually, is copper nanoparticles. And we made those edges ago. And I kind of put them to one side thinking they've got to be useful for something at some time. I mean, the nanoparticles, they've got to be useful. And then a friend of mine wrote to me and said, what he was looking to do was put a good copper coating onto aluminium. Now, if you know anything about electroplating, electroplating aluminium is a nightmare. You can't do it straight away. You usually got to put a nickel strike coat on it, and there's a couple of other steps. And the problem with electroplating, obviously, is it creates an awful lot of waste. The waste stream is pretty high and so expensive to clean up. And I started to think about this a little bit, and I thought, hey, what about if we could apply those copper nanoparticles to the surface of aluminium? So I did a little bit of research on something called peen plating. That's P-E-A-N. Uh, Plating. Turns out, if you get a drum, like say this for instance, then stick some glass balls in there, and I'm using 14 millimeter diameter glass spheres, there's some there. <coughs> Put a load in there, pour in our copper nanoparticles and stick a lump of aluminium in, and this is a lump of aluminium, and then turn it on, what will happen? Well, it turns out that happens. That is an adherent coat of copper. And it's um, very strongly adherent, actually. It passes the tape test, for instance. So if I put a bit of tape on there and try to tear that off, that coating stays on. Nothing on the tape. Ta -da! You're supposed to put scar marks in it, actually, for the tape test. But it is a pretty strongly adherent, bright, shiny copper coating. Now, I just put that in for this for 20 minutes. So all I did was roll the aluminium up into that drum Stick in some 14mm uh, glass beads, pop in some of our nanoparticles and pop it on this thing for 20 minutes. This is just a, a rock tumbler and left it to tumble, just as a proof of concept really. And it turns out it works really, really well. There's a couple of things I'd do differently, but I wanted to let you know what was going on. Um, the large ones hit this area and mash the nanoparticles and basically weld it onto the aluminium. And they've done it in quite large lumps here because these are quite large. So I'd probably use smaller glass beads, and these are 4mm glass beads. So I'm going to give it a go again with 4mm glass beads, and let it churn up with 4mm for a longer time. Like I say, I give it 20 minutes. Um, you're supposed to give it at least an hour. So after about an hour with smaller glass beads, then that should be just perfect. But at the moment, it gives it a nice shiny bright copper coat that resists the tech test. So that's a really simple, easy way to copper plate aluminium. Now my next one is to try a little bit of stainless steel and we'll see what happens, but they were really interested in aluminium, so I thought I'd give that a go and um, see how I could do it, and it turns out that's a really easy way to do it. The benefit, incidentally, of this system is there is no waste. It's a copper nanoparticles get bashed on there. So when the nanoparticles are reduced, you just put more nanoparticles in. So as long as you don't want to plate with anything different, there's no waste stream produced either. I thought that was of interest and I thought I'd share it with you and thank you very much for watching.